Hello, my name is Lisa Shea, and today we're going to talk about how to use a traditional Chinese slash Japanese chop, which tends to come with a Chinese slash Japanese calligraphy kit. And it's how many people sign their works instead of signing them freehand with a scrawled or cursive or block letter name people often instead choose to have a symbol that has meaning to them or a character uh, inscribed onto a chop or seal or it's called many different things and use that to sign their works so let's take a look at this so this is my cool giveaway kit here so in this kit there are two parts involved so this part here comes to you with a flat bottom. Now mine has a carving in it because I carved that, well my boyfriend carved this for me, <laughs> with a Dremel tool and I have a separate video on how to do that. It's very easy or you can use any sort of regular carving tools. This uh, metal uh, stone, <laughs> that stone is soft and can easily be carved. Its purpose is to be carved. If you aren't good at carving yourself there should be plenty of people in your neighborhood that you can put a message out and find someone who's able to carve it for you. You just decide what kind of uh, symbol you want in there, or you can use an initial letter, or a Chinese or Japanese character, or whatever you want, and put that in there. So, first step, if your uh, stone is still flat, is to carve something into it, so that it's actually going to make a shape. So that's one half of this procedure. The other half is this thing right here, and what this is... is red ink and this is used for making the impressions so you take the lid off and then you pick up your chop and you figure out which way is up based on what you are doing and then you gently press that into the red ink so that it gets a good impression on all sides because when you press it down now oops see I turned it so it smeared a little That is what makes the impression. So if you've, if you've ever used a uh, stamp to put butterflies or hearts or dragons or other kinds of things onto paper, this is the same general idea. So that is in essence your stamp pad, and this is your stamp here. It just happens to be stone that someone curved into a shape. So what many people will do is that they'll do their calligraphy on a piece of paper, and then they will use this to sign it with their own special symbol or character or initial monogram or whatever it is that you wanted to put in there. Yeah. And it can make a few impressions before it starts to run low. And you can see now that it's hardly making any impressions at all, at which point I would want to re-ink it before I made some more. And there you are done. You can put it back into its spot, put the lid back on your little ink container, and you are set. So ask if you have any questions, and I am happy to help. Have a wonderful afternoon.